In his new memoir, Black Water, David Robertson talks about growing up without his Indigenous culture and father, later taking him on a trip to his family's trap line. He discovers revisiting the past can heal the present. Now it's an intensely personal story for the award-winning writer, and David joins us now from his home in Winnipeg. And David, this book really begins when your 80-year-old father tells you that he wants to visit his trap line one last time. What was your reaction and when did you realize that this journey would be a segue into a memoir? Yeah, it was uh, an amazing moment. I, I, I struggle to put it into e words even now. Um, but I, I do know that when we went on to the, to the trap line, which is just outside of a community called Norway Hills Cree Nation, um, as soon as I stepped off the boat onto the land, I felt this feeling of coming home and like I'd always belong there. Like we were always heading there, my father and I. And it was really at that moment where I thought that I needed to document it for you know a lot of different reasons, but really for him and I and for our family. Now, for our viewers to understand a bit more about your story, your, your dad was Cree, your mom wasn't, and they chose to raise you and your siblings not as Cree and and their reasonings behind it at the time was to protect you from the challenges they thought you would face. Now the decision you explain came from a good place, but what kind of damage did it do? I don't think it was, you know, damage really from my parents, but it was damage from the society I was growing up in, the city I was growing up in. Um, Winnipeg at the time, like a lot of places, was, you know, had a, a lot of prejudice towards Indigenous people. Um, and because I didn't know much about my own identity, I, I didn't know how to deal with it. I didn't know how to process any of it. So I knew that I was different. I knew that people were treating me different because of it. Um, but I didn't have that positive background to feel the pride in which I feel now. And that helps when you're, you know, you're being discriminated against, when you're, when you're facing all these different things that are teaching you about how, how negative it is to be you. And it's a, it's a difficult time. Now, you write in the book as well that your dad said that uh, your story is not one of trauma, but one of resilience. Just how did that perspective, how did that help you? It's helped me a lot. Uh, it's helped me a lot in my work in general. I, I think that Indigenous people in general, you know, we talk about a, a lot about trauma. Um, and the reality is we are resilient people across this country. Um, we've been through a lot, but there's a lot of beauty in our cultures. And there, I feel that there's a lot of beauty in you know, in me as a Cree man, in, in the things that I've learned and the things that I've gone through and what I've accomplished and what, what my dad has accomplished. And so I want to lift those things up rather than rather than talk only about the stuff that we've gone through that has traumatized us or that has been negative in our lives. And I think that's a, a good approach to have sometimes. We need to learn about the trauma, but we also need to learn about the resiliencies. And I think that's uh, that's an important thing, I think, that you're seeing happen in literature uh, that is being created by Indigenous writers right now. Now, your dad passed away as you were finishing the book and wasn't able to read it. What do you hope his reaction would have been? Um, yeah, I, I, don't, I just wish he would have been able to read it. Um, I, I think he would have been proud of it. I think he would have been proud of the work that we did together. And, you know, I think he would have been proud of me and um, I have to hold on to that because um, you know uh, he's gone now so um, I just tried to do my best and to honor him. Well as we mentioned off the top this is an intensely personal story. David's new book is entitled Blackwater and it's available now. David Robertson. David thank you so much for joining us this morning. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much for having me.